there's a lot of confusion over cashews because there are a lot of people out there on social media saying, don't have cashews, they're bad for you, they're toxic, they're going to kill you. Well, let me give you the real facts which shows up in the scientific studies and a long history of using cashews. Now, first of all, it's not a nut. It's actually a seed from the cashew fruit, but we call it a nut because it tastes like one, it looks like one, and well, may as well just call it a cashew nut anyway. But the overwhelming benefits of cashew nuts highlight any, any of the misinformation out there on social media. So please take it with a pinch of salt and throw it away over your shoulder for good luck because cashews are really, really good for you, without a doubt. Now, I am not advocating that you eat a packet a day, every day for the rest of your life because anything like that will probably kill you no matter what you eat. But it's really simple. Cashews are nutritional, health, nutritional, very, very healthy food. And when you look at it without any doubt whatsoever, these are the vitamins in it. Vitamin E is an antioxidant. Vitamin K is the blood, cardiovascular, vein healthy vitamin. Absolutely essential for really healthy veins and arteries. And then you've got B6, B1, B5, folate, magnesium. And most of us, most of the Western world is short in magnesium, and magnesium is magnesium is plenty of it in in cashews. So just a small handful of cashews is going to give you 20, 25, 30 percent of your magnesium requirements. And if you go on social media, everyone's saying eat some more, have some more magnesium supplement with magnesium glycinate, by the way. But you can also get it through your cashew nuts. Very, very rich. They got copper, zinc, iron, potassium, selenium, which is the anti-cancer. Uh, uh, mineral and of course calcium down at the bottom there and the, the fact that it's just got so much magnesium is just really really heartening then you've got all your polyphenols and these are the plant-based big complex molecules that have all these antioxidant uh, anti-inflammatory anti-cancer anti-heart attack effects things like gallic acid which you find in your green tea, not garlic, but you find it in your green tea and your coffees and uh, pineapple and a whole raft of other fruits, foods that are really good for you. Casetin, casetin which is found in uh, onions and apples, beta carotene, camphor, found in lots of uh, our, our foods and tannins as well. And the whole thing about this is it's got all of these nutrients and more, don't worry, look, the total fat, it's got lots and lots of fat. It's full of fat. But the majority and the mix of the fats is in a really beneficial way. So it's got the monounsaturated fats, which make up about 60% of the total fat content. And of that, the major one is oleic acid. Now, that's the same one you get in olive oil and avocados. But everyone's telling you about the benefits of olive oil. And you get it in nuts. You get it in these cashew nuts. Wow. So you get polyunsaturated fats, saturated fats, and overwhelmingly you're all benefits. So what is the real issue with all these people? Well, they're saying they're toxic. And there are some toxic components, but again, like in every food, every food has some of these. And the big issue here is it's the way that you harvest the cashews, they're stored and um, literally regulated at the government. In Australia, in the US, in developed countries, you have extremely low levels of what's called aflatoxin, extremely low levels, extremely. And yes, it, 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 it can cause, contribute to liver cancer. And if you're in a third world country where everything is kind of stored and not done properly and not managed and monitored properly, and that will happen with virtually every crop, by the way. It happens with the peanuts, it happens with some of the other nuts and so on. So the message is, this, this is no exception. In Western countries, you don't have a problem with that. Uh, and all of them, they say, oh, they've got phytates in them. Oh, check out my videos on phytates. Even though I did it about a year ago, it is overwhelmingly showing you that phytates are a nutrient. Now, I was reading up some studies on that recently, and these phytic acids, which people say, oh, they block the nutrients. Well, they're so full of nutrients anyway, you're going to get an overwhelming benefit from the phytates. And these phytates break down and stimulate your immune system. They stimulate the gut and they stimulate the right mix of chemicals all through your intestines. You'll see this in a minute when I talk about cashews and gut health. But we go through this, it's got all of these benefits in here and people are saying, oh, stay away from them, they're nasty. They're, they're not. First of all, you like my little diagram of a cashew nut. Uh, they're they're anti-inflammatory, they're antioxidant and they are great for the gut. And these are the three conditions 
that are linked with all of our forms of chronic illness, from heart attack to metabolic syndrome, diabetes, cancers. They're all driven by gut inflammation and oxidation. And we know that cashews are potently improving all these conditions. So as a result, we see the health benefits. And this is taken from dozens of studies. Dozens of studies. So you search through all the journals and you see them and it goes, oh, hold on. Uh, there's a benefit of obesity. Now, I'm going to show you some of the individual studies later on because they're really interesting what happens in them and because people think, oh, you know, you're going to have these fatty nuts. How can they help with obesity? But well, hang on, I'm going to show you that with some of the studies and how much they take and what they do along with it. So it helps with uh, obesity, diabetes regulation of blood sugar and insulin levels, dyslipidemia, which is the imbalance of the fats, the lipids, the triglycerides in the body, hypertension, High blood pressure, wow. Do you mean to say, do you mean to say that cashews can actually lower the risk of hypertension, high blood pressure, lower blood pressure, which is probably the single biggest factor causing heart attacks and strokes, which is the single biggest factor killing people around the world in developed countries. Wow, cashews are doing that. Hyperuricemia, which is uric acid, and that's the factor that you might know to do with gout. And so they actually lower the uric acid level, which is great for gout sufferers. So they'll be the first ones to start using it. And as a result of these, the benefits of cardiovascular, uh, premature aging, there's stuff going around showing that it lowers some of the indicators of aging, and in particular, skin aging. And it stops the elastin degrading and the collagen cross-linking, which are indicators of the skin getting wrinkly and aging. And you don't have to put the cashews on your skin. You just have a few. Have a handful every couple of days. Add them to your, your snacks and so on. They're much better for you than all the other junk food snacks out there. And this is where we go wrong when these people say, oh, get rid of it. You can't have these. It's a deadly. That what's killing us are the processed foods. The, it's the processed foods. It's not the cashew nuts. And then we get down to oh, even reproductive health, particularly in protecting male sperm and the qualities and the quantities. Well, again, I'll show you some studies on that in a moment. And when it comes down to my big issue that I always focus on is, of course, gut health. So I want to sh show you one example to start with and then go through some of the studies where you can really see the benefits. But with gut health, it's been consistently shown to decrease the pathogenic bacteria. They're the nasty ones in the gut that contribute to all of the ill conditions in the gut and in the body, mental health through the gut brain axis and so on. And again, lots of my videos are on that already. So I'm sure you've gone and seen those. It decreases the gut pH, which makes it more acidic, which in the large intestine, the gut is what you want because that helps balance it out and it stops the toxic bacteria and the toxic fungi, even the toxic viruses staying there and breeding. And it produces these really great, what are called short chain fatty acids, propionic acid, acetic acid, that's also called vinegar if it's in a bottle, and of course butyric acid, which have these anti-cancer, gut healing, um, hypertension healing, and all these other benefits around the body. And so they've done a couple of studies with rats and they develop colitis in the rats, which is an inflammatory gut illness. And when they give them the cashew nuts or the cashews, they decrease the inflammation, they decrease the intestinal damage, so, and the mucosal damage, which is a fine layer just over the top of the uh, epithelial layer, the skin layer or, or the cell layer. And you have to remember the gut is only one cell thick, one cell, so if it's damaged there, it ends up with something called leaky gut and a, a, a permeable gut. And so everything can get through. So as a result of improving this intestinal barrier, it, drops, it stops the translocation or the movement of toxins from the gut that are properly digested and fermented and the bacteria from getting into the blood and going to the places and causing arthritis and aches and pains and illnesses and inflammation through the body. So it helps literally repair the gut barrier, the gut lining to prevent all these issues. And the question you're probably asking in all this is, is that raw or roasted? Well, it doesn't really matter. The studies show that they're about 98% the same anyway when you roast them. I prefer roasted so much nicer, but if you're making a sauce or something, maybe you want the raw. There is virtually no difference. And some people say that the roasted have more salt and 
If you watch my videos, you'll understand that I'm an advocate of actually having salt in your diet. It's an essential part and it comes with the roasted cashews. With dozens of studies showing the benefits of cashews in all of those areas, there's some really interesting studies recently on brain and brain health and neuroprotection brought about by cashews. And so in this case, they actually gave cashew nut alcohol extract. So they soaked it, took the extract out and put the rest away just to find out what it did. And in the brains of rat, they found that it altered what's called the HPA axis, the hypothalamus pituitary adrenal gland axis, and led to a calming, more relaxed sense. And so it increased norepinephrine, it increased serotonin. Serotonin is kind of the feeling calm and feeling good. And dopamine is the motivational calming one. And it decreased corticosterone, which is the main one to do with stress. And that's the one that gets you up and activated and running around and getting really, really busy. And the one you often have when you get with a coffee, but and a decreased oxidation as well. So it had a really good positive benefit on brain function. And then some more studies in 2025, the neuroprotective, when the rats were exposed to some toxic chemicals, e.g. petrol. Most people don't realize petrol is toxic, but yet it's extremely toxic and destroys uh, literally the nervous system matter, the brain matter in this case. And they found that it reversed the, the cashew nut, reversed the neuroinflammation, the neurodegradation and increase in neurotransmitters. So the firing of the brain got back to a little bit more realistic after the petrol damage. Now, there's a lot of people out there with petrol damage, e.g. sniffing, a petrol sniffing of solvents and paints and all those other bits and pieces, as well as generally lots of damage done up there and we find out it has benefits. But in 2022 study, they also found, in fact, there were a couple of studies by the same group around these years, and they found that rats getting chemotherapy, now that's the chemotherapy humans get for cancer, causes lots of serious side effects, including brain injury and nervous system damage, and the cashew nuts increase brain function and decrease brain neurodegeneration. So that's a consideration if you're doing anything that's gonna be injuring your brain, which is what this all is saying, that it's actually really good for brain function. It doesn't just taste good, it doesn't just smell good, you don't just like eating it, but it actually has these brain benefits as well. Then another unusual area that they looked at was, again, it was chemotherapy, rats getting chemo, but they found that the uh, cashew nuts protected the sperm of males from excessive damage and helped repair it. So it increased the reproductive hormones, sperm parameters, and the antioxidant levels to do with sperm. So, and there were a couple of studies around that. And by the way, there were roasted cashews in this case, yeah? Good, they taste nicer, don't they? So the message is it's got lots of these benefits. And so a, a trial they did back in 2018 to do with type two diabetics. And in this case, there were 300 of them. They took 30 grams a day, which is just a handful of roasted cashews over 12 weeks, decreased systolic blood pressure, the biggest factor, one of the biggest factors for hypertension and the risk of heart attack and stroke, and it increased the HDLC, high density, uh, lipoprotein cholesterol, which is a, the good one, indicating that stress is down, inflammation is down, oxidation is down along the way, and it improved blood sugar. In a 2017 study, 51 participants, 21 to 73 years of age, and this was a bit of an irregular one because they used uh, literally doses from 28 to 64. In other words, they said, record how much you use each time and let us know in the studies and it decreased the total cholesterol and LDL cholesterol. Now, we all know that cholesterol is not the killer, but it is an indicator of inflammation and oxidation in the body, stress, and while it doesn't cause heart attacks and strokes, it's an indicator that there may be a higher risk factor. So it's great to know that cashews help with that. And then on, on issues which most people are really confused about, weight gain when it comes to cashews, because cashews, oh, I can't have that, it's got too much fat. People really get confused because there's so much misinformation out there. The quality of food is as important as the quantity of food you have as well. And how do I know that? Well, I wrote a book uh, all, all about how our genes are being misinterpreted and we actually should be eating a whole raft of different foods and definitely not the processed foods. Anyway, uh, and that's called Unlock Your Genes for Weight Loss, if you're interested. And I've got lots of videos on that as well, just to help you all along. But in this study, 2024, 68 
overweight or obese adults. Now, the study, by the way, has been reproduced a couple of times, a couple of different groups, but this was eight weeks. They used 30 grams of cashew nut or 10 mil of cashew nut oil. Now, I've never heard of cashew nut oil. I've never looked for it. I, I won't bother because I prefer to use the cashews personally because they've got lots of other benefits, e.g. the special gut benefits too. And it decreased body fat. Both of them had similar results most of the way. Decreased body fat, um, decreased atherogenic markers, which is the plaque in the arteries, and which is great because it's, it's actually stopping the plaque forming, even though it's got lots of fats in it, but remember, they're good fats, and it's got all the other nutrients that can help unblock those arteries as well. Increased liver function, a positive, a decreased, an increased cardiovascular health, and increased the beneficial bacteria in the gut and the metabolites that they produce. And the gut has a huge role to play in overall health. So if it's working on that gut, it's working on the gut brain axis, it's working on the gut kidney, gut liver, gut eye, gut skin. So whenever you have gut benefits, you have general benefits throughout the whole body. Lots of videos on that one too. And so, and a decreased intestinal permeability, which is the big risk factor. When the toxins from the bacteria and the metabolite and the bacteria themselves can get in to the blood and, and cause horrific problems around the body. And finally, to do with kids, 2025, 20, 12 weeks, 30 grams, 142 obese kids. They had a, a decrease in waist circumference and a decrease in oxidative damage. Isn't it great to be able to give people who want to lose weight uh, a food that tastes nice, a snack that's nice, and they don't have to go, oh, I want to count calories, because we all know that calories don't count. Now, there's a lot of good information out there. Oh, by the way, there was another study, I didn't put it up, but uh, in fact, there's a couple of studies that are showing that uh, when they give HIV kids cashew nuts, it improves their immune function. So in the next five or six years, I expect to see a lot of, a lot of research coming out on cashews and immune function as well. So lots and lots of benefits in there. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, share this with your friends and pass on a couple of comments here so I can get back to you on it.